Organs are for sale in China. At least 36 death camps in China are harvesting organs from Falun Gong practitioners for sale on the black market, many of them while they are still alive. Organ harvesting of Falun Gong practitioners was confirmed by a two-month investigation by former Canadian Secretary of State David Kilgore and the Canadian international human rights lawyer David Matas. We've been asked to investigate allegations after considering everything as best we could was that the allegations are true. We believe them to be true, that this uh, harvesting is indeed happening. Uh, to us, uh, it, this is a, a form of uh, evil we have yet to see on this planet. Harvesting organs from prisoners is nothing new in China, but since the persecution of Falun Gong began in 1999, there has been a steady rise in the number of organs available for transplant. That's why Dr. Wen Yi Wang challenged Chinese President Hu Jintao on the White House lawn. I had encountered some Chinese patients who had gone to China and came back with kidneys. Um, and when I asked them where they came from, they said, oh, it was my cousin or something like that, but then some of them told me that they had bought the kidneys from executed prisoners. Although the government said that this was something they had gotten consent for, that the prisoners had agreed to beforehand, or the families had consented, the evidence was overwhelming that there wasn't any consent involved, and in fact it was just the government doing what they wanted. The South China Post reported that 99% of organ transplants in China come from executed prisoners. The Chinese government has been harvesting organs from prisoners since the 80s. The U.S. State Department has known about this and it has been addressed at several hearings. Since 1999, many of these organs have come from illegally detained Falun Gong practitioners. Right from the beginning, just months after the persecution first started in China, we got reports of tens of thousands, perhaps hundreds of thousands, of individuals being detained, put into prison camps, labor camps. Um, this developed an increase over the years. Um, and what we had was, particularly in the, in the period between 2000 and 2003, hundreds and hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of Falun Gong practitioners in labor camps throughout China. Many of those were taken from their homes by police, no paperwork, no judicial process, and thrown into prisons, and many of their family members had no idea where they were. The Canadian report finds executed prisoners cannot account for the rise in organ transplants starting in 1999. There were just as many executions before and after Falun Gong began to be persecuted, but the number of transplants increased by 41,500. My name is Charlotte Thompson Isserbade, and I served as senior policy advisor in the United States Department of Education uh, under the Reagan administration, during which I had access to uh, all of the most important documents uh, for the restructuring of not only American education, but uh, global education. And I'm also the author of The Deliberate Dumbing Down of America, which gets into all of this, gives the background of what I saw not only in the Department of Education, but as a local school board member. I was trained uh, to identify the resistors. The resistors to the sex ad, drug ad, alcohol ad, uh, suicide ad, death ad, those good, smart Americans who realize that anything that has education hanging off the end of it is probably not what they're looking for. Uh, I was trained to identify those good people and uh, to go up against them and actually to go and try to get them to join us through the group process system, make them feel important, get them on a committee. And when I, that just blew my mind. I, I have to say, people often ask me, what is it that got you involved in education? Well, finding out what, what I saw at the local level certainly upset me. When I went and I saw that Americans were being trained to identify resistors, uh, you know, then I, uh, I got pretty upset. And uh, luckily, there was a big book that came with the in-service training called Innovations in Education, A Change Agent's Guide. And uh, I was able to take that back home with me. Unbelievable examples of how to con the Christians and different people who are upset with what you're trying to do how to bring them over to your side, case studies, true case studies of educators who had put programs in that uh, normally, you know, in a normal American town, nobody would want them. 
How did they manage to get them in? All the preliminary investigations say that this is an unusual but naturally occurring event. That'll be another news story. A horrible stench within. <laughs> Um, I could give you some color and just tell you what I see. Yeah. Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Thursday, March 10th, 2011, and I'm Darko. This is the final part, part four for today. Thank you for joining me and thanks for sticking with me, everybody. I usually ask everybody to, or just new listeners to, even old listeners, to uh, check out my website, www.ggnonline.com. That's ggnonline.com. You can uh, subscribe via email, you can donate, and you can check out the polls that are posted there. Uh, you have one more day left to vote on the uh, unemployment poll. So we're going to keep moving and we're going to actually fly through this video because I have a lot of news to cover left. Uh, left in this uh, last video. So uh, you just saw that uh, uh, that cop, that police officer, the sheriff, saying that, saying the same thing that we keep being that we're told, um, which is all those uh, fish dying is just a normal thing, and uh, it's going on all over the world. This is not normal, and uh, yet they think that we're that stupid. So. Um, I feel sorry for that sheriff because he has to sit there and uh, just spew that crap, right? Well, it just keeps happening. So, uh, anyways, source of organs for transplants, a mystery in China. No voluntary organ donations in uh, Nahing City for a year. And uh, we just covered that video. Uh, most public schools may miss targets, education secretary says. Now, I, uh, I wonder how, why that is. Well, you just saw the video with the woman that worked. Uh, as a pol as a, a senior policymaker, and especially with education, and she told you exactly what it was for. So this is a what a success. Illinois governor abolishes death penalty, and um, I'm all for uh, you know if someone kills you, kills your family, or steals your property, you have the right to kill them and to end their life. That's just my own personal opinion. To defend your property, which is your body and uh, your house or your possessions. Uh, you have the right to use deadly force to defend that. And um, the problem is, is uh, you know, with this death penalty is it's uh, basically the government is uh, the purveyor of morality. And as I said before in recent videos, the government is the most immoral organization or uh, entity in the world throughout history. So they are not going to be the ones that are going to say who dies and who doesn't die. So I am not for uh, government-sponsored death penalties. Um, but uh, now they're banning them. So a lot of people whose family members were either raped and murdered or uh, slaughtered were basically, uh, they're going to get life. And taxpayers, while Illinois is raising taxes and property taxes almost 90%, and a lot of people are, uh, 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 there's a max exodus out of Illinois and Chicago in particular. Uh, they're going to go ahead and do this, which is going to, uh, who do you think is going to pay for that? Those life sentences and all that uh, legal costs and all that. It's going to be you, the taxpayer in Chicago and Illinois. UK shops face tobacco display ban. Government said Wednesday it plans to ban the display of tobacco products in the shops and may introduce plain packaging. And it's a real free market, right? Just roll your own and quit smoking corporate cigarettes. Problem solved. Speed gun expert for alleged uh, Hoon Cop trial. And uh, this Washington police officer who pleaded not guilty to speeding 72 kilometers over the speed limit has questioned the accuracy of handheld laser speed cameras. So a cop questioning the speed cameras. Or, yeah. Homicide case involving Daly, Mayor Daly, uh, nephew, closed 
without charges. So he gets a free pass, right? That's what you call mafia government. Liverpool police threatened to arrest Justin Bieber over fears he could incite a riot just by going out on the balcony and say, hi, fans. I'm not a Justin Bieber fan. I'm just... It's just, uh, you know, whatever. If it's tyranny, it gets covered here. Uh, fine Gale of sellout. Ireland's new government forms coalition immediately surrenders to EU IMF banksters. Uh, Dalai Lama says he will give up his political role. German teachers protest over pay. Germany's rail strike halts transport. Anti-labor vote shocks Wisconsin. Uh, over 8,000 union protesters converge on Indiana. They're trying to take away not just public but also private union bargaining rights. Rage and hysteria over for House hearing on Muslims, unwarranted, Representative King says. Then uh, ex-rep Gopher leaves radio show after alleged pressure over Islam comments. So uh, a lot of Islamophobia going on. And we have thousands of dead fish have been washing up on Washington beaches. But it's all normal. Go back to sleep. Call to vaccinate against possible H2N2 flu vac pandemic. Governments should launch a vaccination program now to guard against a possible H2N2 flu pandemic, according to an article. Uh, don't worry about your immune systems or any other uh, alternative uh, uh, preparations that you can do. Just take, roll up your sleeve and take your eugenics. Uh, does topical fluoride really protect tooth enamel? Studies suggest no. So food sold in recycled cardboard packaging poses risk. Uh, talking about uh, inflammation and possible uh, cancer, scientists deliberately create 127 hybrid viruses from H1N1. Then warn they are dangerous. Then we have the Tdap. New Tdap vaccine requirements for 7th graders begin this fall, so more eugenics are being required to go to school. And if you don't go to school, <laughs> you get, uh, you get uh, what is it, suspended, and then you get uh, uh, basically expelled, uh, expelled due to truancy kicking in, and then your, your parents uh, watch their kids, the parents watch the kids as the CPS takes, takes them from them. So roll up your sleeve, everybody, and get your eugenics. Then we have child welfare system, failed dead Florida girl, panel investigating the death of a 10-year-old Florida girl whose body was found in the back of her adopted father's truck, said lack of common sense and communication among child welfare officials played a role in the tragedy, said it didn't have to happen. Then the three-person panel recommended that the State Department of Children and Families immediately review the qualifications of case managers, uh, uh, basically CPS psychologists contracting with the state and um, said they had repeatedly missed signs that the girl and the twin brother were being abused. So, CPS, a great, great department. China's imports of New Zealand milk jumped fivefold. Why? Oh, food safety scandal heavy blow to China's dairy industry political advisor over what? The melamine tainted baby formula in 2008. Then U.S. dietary guidelines toss calorie counter. Doesn't really matter. And then we have this. Expert warns of health risk associated with new light bulb technology. So there's new light bulbs that are going to be uh, made mandatory and ban the old ones uh, are going to be actually worse for your health. Planned Parenthood reports abortion rate up by more than 8%. In one year. So eugenics, again, a success. Arizona woman accused of plan to kill pregnant friend. Then abuse of antibiotics, a severe problem in China. And then look at this. Eating disorders uh, prevalent among U.S. Teens, most don't receive treatment. Then look at this. Teens eating problems likely to lead to psychiatric disorders. Okay, then look at this. Psychiatric uh, psychiatry has devolved from personalized therapy to shameless drug dealing. And then electroshock discipline on students. School successfully lobbies Congress to keep it legal. So they have eating disorders. And then uh, the eating disorders lead to psychiatric disorders. And then they get electroshock therapy for it. Secretly infected with syphilis, Guatemalan victims may sue the U.S. over prisoners, mental patients, soldiers, and orphans intentionally infected with syphilis. Then books get the shove as university students prefer to do research online. Schools need to teach about orgasm, says NEA. Then charity pays 26 uh, British drug addicts to use condoms. Big Pharma lies about R&D costs to justify illicit profits, uh, only 4%. U.S. company recalls peanut butter due to... Then an uh, injured Rand sailor left without enough money to feed himself. Veteran with cancer battles Ottawa for pension. Then cancer rise in sperm quality fall to due to chemicals. Preemie birth preventative spikes from ten to $1,500. Ted Olson, children don't need mothers or fathers. The disappearing male. Then Ohio executes man using animal euthanasia drugs. Golf spill sickness wrecking lives. Drop in burials hits graveyard shift. And labor uh, calls for environmentally friendly burials and, and cremations. Quake in southwest China kills 24. This is GGN and I'm Darko. Thank you.